like many people in the world, have a bit of anxiety. I have anxiety over a lot of things. And one of my biggest anxieties is meeting with people. And not just meeting with people, people I know, people I see all of the time. I mean, of course that doesn't count for like close family like Emily, but otherwise, every time I'm about to meet someone, I get anxious. Now to cope with that anxiety, I have come up with a set of rules or a way of living life so I can just cope with this constant anxiety that's sort of underlying every time I meet a new person. Now the first rule and the biggest rule is practice. Before I meet anyone, I practice what I'm going to say time and time and time again. I mean, five, six, seven, eight times. Often when I have weekly meetings with clients, I'll practice it while I'm in the shower and go over and go over exactly what I'm going to say. And I don't just do this with clients. I do this with pretty much everyone other than Emily. I'm constantly practicing what I'm going to say. The irony is this vlog isn't part of that. In fact, while I have a lot of anxiety about meeting people and constantly trying to come up with what to say and how I'm going to say it, the vlog isn't like that. I'm very comfortable on this vlog in a way that I'm not comfortable in the real world. It's honestly the reason I do this vlog. I don't really like editing it much. I'm not a huge fan of finding music or color grading, but this part right here, being able to just be myself, I like it. Now I know being on the vlog isn't everyone's favorite thing. I know even Emily has certain qualms about being on the vlog, but for me, I don't have to pretend, I don't have to practice. Now, of course, there's certain things I do on the vlog and certain things I talk about, but I'm just me. I mean, you want the real me, this is it. Ironically enough, it's not the me you'll meet in person because the me and me person is pretending, it's fake. It's what I do almost all the time, I'm constantly pretending to be someone, not because I'm trying to be cool or funny or this or that or the other. I just, I'm not good at being myself and I have to practice. I feel like I have to constantly be something. But with this, I don't feel that way. But enough of that gooey personal stuff. It's time for breakfast. So the place I took Papa to breakfast today, Pine State Biscuits, I think it was called, was okay, but the problem was it's one of those places where you order at the menu, and when you're Papa and you can't see very well, that's very frustrating and hard. And I, I didn't know it was that kind of experience. I thought it was a sit-down kind of place. I always look for those kind of places, but it wasn't. So if you're watching this, Papa, I'm sorry. But although that experience was subpar to be certain, the walk we did after the river walk was absolutely beautiful. I mean, we got to see sculptures and the river was right there, some people fishing. It was pretty cool, which made for a pretty eventful and lovely day. But even though today's been a pretty good day so far, I always feel a little guilty when I leave Papa's house. I mean, I know that I spend you know, all day with him. We go do chores, we go to breakfast, and I enjoy it as much as he does. It's good for both of us. We get to both out of the house. We get to see people, all that sort of thing. But when I leave to go home to catch up on some work or do some other things, I always feel a little guilty. I mean, I know I shouldn't, but it's just Papa's alone all day. You know, his wife died years ago. He got remarried and then she died. It's just Papa. And sure, he has all of his family, but they're at work all day and it's just him. And yes, I spend time with him and we hang out, but I always feel a little guilty leaving Papa alone because you know, he's just a really cool guy, but I know I have to get this work done. So it just is how it is. Well, after a short hiatus of work, which is mostly just FaceTiming my mom. Ow! Why would you hit me on the vlog? Do you see the violence? Domestic violence is not to be joked about, Emily. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Even though I was abused, I'm back over at Papa's with Emily, as you can tell. 
and we're gonna go over to Andrew's for dinner, which I had never been to his house before. I mean, I've driven, I've drove him off there like a million times, but I've never gone in except for like once. So I don't know, this should be fun probably. Mm -hmm. 